the Red Dragon Air Wing Molded Flights review begins right now. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. It is flights review time, more specifically molded flights. And I know these have been on the market now for a few months. I'm just now finally getting around to reviewing them, but it should make for a fairly quick and uh, halfway decent review. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be taking a close up look and reviewing the Red Dragon Airwing Molded Flights. Now, in case you're wondering where I purchased these things, same places I get pretty much 99% of my products double top darts in the UK. Now this was the best part. I placed the order for these flights as well as a bunch of other stuff, a few sets of darts. I placed the order on the evening of March 21st. I had everything in my hands on the afternoon of March 26th. So they shipped out the next day on the 22nd, four days later here to central New York. I've got my stuff. So I can't recommend this shop enough. They've been killing it. They've got the best prices link down below in the pinned comment. You can check them out there. But um, yeah, uh, oh, another thing I want to mention before we go on with the rest of the video, there's been some confusion, but if you go to Double Top Darts, you're going to see two prices. Actually, I'll put up a picture over here. So you're going to see two prices on the air wings. In the United States, our American players, American customers, more like it, we do not pay VAT tax. So we always pay the lower of the two prices. The higher price that you see, that's with the VAT tax included, which that's what they pay over in the UK. But American customers, we do not pay that. So it's, yeah, again, always the lower of those two prices you see there. So they are roughly right around five pounds, which is just a hair north of six US dollars with the market saturated now with molded flights. That's a respectable price, I think, but are they any good? We're gonna find out, right? So yeah, the Red Dragon Air Wing Molded Flights. Here we go, let's find out if they're decent or not. Okay, let's have a look at the Red Dragon Air Wing Molded Flights. And keep in mind, it's just another Molded Flights review. There's not a lot to discuss here, so I'm just gonna cover the basics. And by the way, these are the only three sets that I bought for the review. But you may be wondering, what shapes do they come in? We have a standard shape here, which is just your typical standard size flight. Nothing out of the ordinary there. They also have these, which I was messing around with them last night. I really, really like these. These are the V standard shape, which some of you old timers might recall. They remind me a lot of the old lantern shaped flights, if you remember those. A lot of people back in the day, I would say late 1990s, early 2000s, used to use lantern shape. So yeah, they kind of remind me of a lantern shape. And over here, just another set of standard shape. If you go to the Red Dragon website, they have all sorts of different colors, different designs, and a ton of pro player flights as well. So nice to see all the choices, but let's check these bad boys out. Now, having a quick look, one of the things you're gonna notice right away, we've got the reinforced edge along the back, as well as on the underneath, you can see here, we got a reinforced edge. And what I thought was interesting, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera, but the air wing and the red dragon, as well as the logos, they're all raised. You can feel them with your fingernail. So it's a raised design there. I don't know how that's going to last with the incoming dart. I kind of might wear that off. I'm not entirely sure as I haven't used these yet, but yeah, they got a raised design there. You can definitely feel with your fingers. So I guess the big question is how stiff are these things or how rigid are they? You're probably wondering, well, they have a soft feel to them. So they're nowhere near as rigid as a Condor Axe or a Target K-Flex, Winmore Fusion, or even, I got a set over here, the L-Style Phantoms. So they're not as rigid as those clear flights, but hey, they're, they're pretty stiff. I mean, they, they do snap back into place. But yeah, they have a little bit softer feel to them compared to the ones that I just mentioned. So I think they're gonna hold up fairly well. Time will tell though, and up front, we can see that they have kind of a um, smooth section here. I wonder if this little section should be textured where it goes into the stem, because from what I've seen real quick, I mean, they don't hold in there all that great. So, hey, we're gonna have to test that out here in a bit when I throw them. So I guess that's that. Let me get these things on the scale. I'll tell you how much they weigh. We'll compare them to a couple other flights and uh, go from there. 
Okay, so for those of you curious about the weight here, I do have a couple similar molded flights. These are the L-Style Easy Flights. Again, really soft, very lightweight. All right, so that's 0.7 of a gram. We've got the L-Style Phantoms. These, probably a little bit heavier. Okay, so slightly north of a gram, 1.05 grams. And then, of course, we've got the Red Dragon Air Wings right here. So those, okay, 1.11. So a little bit heavier, not much. I assume that one's gonna be the same. Oh, well, that's interesting. So the different designs weigh a different amount. So again, 1.11 in this one. Wow, okay, well, that's good to know, I guess. So different designs could weigh a different amount. And when you're dealing with variances like that, the slightest difference, differences on the back end of a dart can make a big difference with how it lands in the board. So again, some of the designs a little bit heavier than others. And the V standard rate at a gram. So that's how much they weigh. And now I guess we can check out how well they fit into just some random stems. So I have here, this would be an interesting test, I have a set of alloy stems. Do they work in alloy stems? Oh wow, they actually slide, oh, they slide right in, but they also slide right out. Wow, they don't hold well at all. That's unusual for an alloy stem. Usually they really clamp on to any flight, but wow, those just pop right off. That's not a good fit at all. Let's um, try this one. This is a Hero Super Grip Carbon. Get in there. That's hard to do on video. All right, so push that in. Okay, that holds really well. Wow, interesting. And I got a little test I'm going to do here in a minute. If you see that stem clamp there, stem ring. And here's the Red Dragon Joust. Those are the Luke Humphrey stems, something like 65 millimeters. And let's see. All right, those slide right in all the way and they hold, nah, they don't hold great, to be honest. Kind of slides right out. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. So, check this out. There's a flight punch. Can you punch molded flights? We're gonna find out. I'll probably ruin a set, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can punch them and use this little stem ring there. This should be interesting. Okay, so this very well could be one of my dumbest experiments. We've got the King of the Aki flight punch. Can you punch molded flights without ruining them? So we're gonna find out. Let me get this. We gotta kinda squeeze hard to get it in there. Oh, that doesn't wanna go in there too well. So I got it in, ready? It's in there. Oh, <laughs> All right, let me see if we can get this little clip in there. And this may prove difficult to do on video. Oh, it went right in. Okay, and now for flight, or for stem. Hmm. Well, there's your answer. Does it hold well? Oh, wow, it definitely holds. Wow, it holds a lot better. So, hey. There's your answer. You can, in fact, punch molded flights. I'm not sure if it's going to rip down there or not, but that worked really, really well, surprisingly well. So, hey, there's our answer. Yes, you can punch molded flights. Well, let's get these things on the board. Like I said, I'm going to use my match darts over here, and I'm going to use my... Oh, yeah, that's going to be the setup. So match darts. We've got the uh, L-Style carbon stems and the V standard shape air wings. We'll get them on the board, see how they fly. Here we go. Okay, well, that's good enough warm up. So nothing serious today. I'm just going to have a few throws. I'm not going to keep track. I'm not doing checkouts or anything like that. But I did want to give you guys a quick message. I think this is important. I try to include it in any molded flights review that I do. But I'm going to put a picture up over here. That's the front end of a typical dart barrel. You see where that lip is where the point meets the barrel, that lip is responsible for probably at a guess, 95% of the damage to your flights. That lip will just tear up the back end of the flights. So what you wanna do, if you're considering using molded flights, whether it's these or any other brand, I would strongly recommend that you install a specialty point. Now there's a flare on the specialty point and that flare eliminates the lip on the front of your barrels now the darts are gonna glide past one another in the board. You're not gonna destroy your expensive flight. So yeah, again, I would strongly encourage you to get specialty points. It makes a day and night difference and I wouldn't waste my time telling you guys if I really didn't believe it. So you get less wild deflections and as a bonus, your flights last forever, regardless if they're the 
50 cent folding flights or the $20 condors. But um, anyway, let's put the board up. Again, just a few throws. Now, as you're gonna see in the 180 here in just about a minute, the flight popped off. So that's just a pet peeve of mine. Nobody wants to be bending over, picking up flights all the time when they're playing darts. And I think if you're using molded flights, you just really don't want that to, to happen, do you? Hey, nice 100 to start things off with. So yeah, that, that's an issue, right? And again, you can still get Robin Hoods here. You can still destroy your stems, regardless if they're punched or not. So I, I thought that was funny. Yeah, you can punch these flights. So, I mean, not to sugarcoat anything, guys, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan of these things, really. They do throw well. As far as straight up performance, they work amazing, right? As long as they stay attached to your stem, which more times than not, they don't. Yeah, honestly, I probably in warmups for these 10 minutes picked up four or five flights off the floor. That gets old real quick, right? Let me throw three at the bullseye. Ooh. Hey, these are my match darts. I'm supposed to be pretty good with them. Yeah, there's another one falling off. So yeah, we're just gonna end it right there because I've had enough of these things. Yeah, just, this is not fun, right? Stay on there. So uh, yeah, let's roll into the 180. Again, flight pops off and um, we'll do a quick wrap up and that's it for this video, okay? Let's go, here we go. Oh, nice deflection. Boom. See? Perfect example right there. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second, right? So um, yeah, I guess that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the close-up look and review of the Red Dragon Airwing Molded Flights. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up. Always appreciated. However, leave a comment down below. And this is important, guys. For those of you that have already been using these flights, give us some feedback. We all want to know. We all want to learn from you guys. I've only thrown these for one afternoon. There's only so much I can learn as far as uh, reliability, dependability, how long these things last. So again, for those of you that have used these flights, comment down below, let me know what you guys think of them. I'd be very interested to read your comments. And again, reminder, link down below, I'm gonna have a pin, or link down below in the pinned comment. It's gonna take you over to Double Top Darts. If you do wanna try these out, go ahead, I guess. But um, yeah, the, the link will be there if you want it. So, pretty much, long story short, would I recommend these things? Yeah, no, I, I, I really wouldn't. You saw there on my 180, the flight popped off. And here's my thing, and here's my reasoning behind it. With molded flights, the reason I switched to molded flights is because I didn't want to pick up flights off the floor all the time. I didn't want to get Robin Hoods, and these do nothing to address those two issues. I mean, there's other molded flights on the market that I just think are going to be a lot better for you. And um, we're just going to leave it at that. But yeah, not really something I would recommend. However, for six, five, six US dollars, might be worth a try. But again, not a big fan of these things. Although, hey, I'm going to end on a positive. As far as the flight shape of these, man, I absolutely love them. This shape works perfect for me. It provides enough lift. They get to the board quick. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this V shape or V, yeah, what is it, V-shape size that they have. I'd love to see those in uh, some other brands' molded flights. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave on a positive note. Great shape here, but the rest, not so good. So, anyway, until next time, guys, we will see you on the next video. <laughs> Later.